Hey everybody, this is Mr. Mathlog and welcome. This is uh, the beginning of your fifth grade. So this lesson is called Place Value and Pattern. So here's our common course trend. Our essential question is how can we describe the relationship between two place value positions? So here we're going to use uh, uh, base 10 blocks to understand the relationship among place value positions. So we're going to use a large cube for a thousand. We're going to use a flat for a hundred, a long for a ten, and uh, this is called the small cube, and the small cube will be for one right there. Okay, so we're going to complete the comparisons below to describe the relationship from one place value position to the next place value position. And we've done this before in, a, in our fourth grade uh, stuff here. So let's look at the long and compare it to the small cube. Okay, so the long is how many times as much as the small cube? Well, this small cube, I can fit 10 of these right here. In fact, it says it's, it has 10 of the small cubes in there, so it's 10 times as much right there. Okay? Okay. All right, let's look at the flat and compare it to the long. Okay, so here's the flat and here's the long right here. Okay, and uh, so the, the flat is how many times as big as the long? Well, you guys can probably get that. So there's 10 of these longs inside of here uh, to make up a flat. So it's 10 times as big. And, and notice, um, uh, as we go 10 times as big, it just adds a zero right there. All right, let's take a the, look at the large cube and compare it to the flat. Okay, the large cube is, well, how many flats are in this large cube? There's 10 of them. And check out the numbers. It just increases a zero right there. There. So it's 10 times as big as, uh, as big as the flat, the large cube is right there. All right, look at the flat and compare it to the large cube, okay? So now this is going backwards, okay? So this flat is how much of the large cube right here? Well, there's uh, since this is 10 times as big as this, then this is one-tenth of this guy right there, okay? And we'll write one-tenth as a fraction, one over 10 right there, okay? So let's look at the long and compare it to the flat, okay? Here's the long, here's the flat. Well, since this flat has 10 longs in it, then this long is one-tenth of the flat right here. So uh, the long is one-tenth right there. All right, let's look at uh, the small cube and compare it to the long. The small cube is just like the other ones, is one-tenth of the long right here. All right, how about uh, how many times as much as the flat compared to the small cube? And how about the large cube compared to the small cube? Okay, well, the flat right here has a hundred small cubes in it. So it's a hundred times as big as the small cube. And this uh, large cube has a thousand small cubes in it. So it's a thousand times as big as the small cube. The numbers on top tell us this right here. The small cube is one. The flat is a hundred. And then uh, the large cube is a thousand, so it has a thousand small cubes in there. All right, so let's describe the pattern when we move from uh, a lesser place value position to the next greater place value position, okay? So as we go this direction, it, uh, it increases ten times the amount. Okay, so it grows by 10 times as much as the previous place value. And notice when we grow by 10, it just adds another zero. So here's one, and then here's one with one zero. Here's a one with two zeros, which is 100. Here's a one with three zeros, which is 1,000. So it just increases with the zeros there. So describe the pattern when we move from a greater place value position to the next lesser place value. So when we go this direction, it decreases by a tenth, you guys. So uh, the, it's a tenth of the previous place value. So you just take off a zero from a thousand to a hundred, okay? So uh, this flat is one tenth of the cube. This long is one tenth of the flat, and this small cube is one tenth of the long right here. And it just takes off a zero when we do that. Okay, now we can use our, our understanding of place value patterns and, and place value charts to write the numbers that are ten times as much or one tenth of a given number. All right, so here we have 700 right here. So if I just go, so this number is 10 times as many as this number. So if I just add a zero to this, add a zero to 700, then that's going to make it 7,000 right there. So that would be 7,000. And then this side is one-tenth of 700. So if I take off a zero, that'll just get us to 70 right there. Okay, whoops, I don't know what happened to my uh, little description right there. Let's see if I can copy and paste it. Interesting. Anyway, uh, uh, let's see. So, uh, what else was I? Oh, if I wanted to, if I wanted to keep going, this would be 7. I'd just take off a 0 right here. And if I wanted to, I didn't in this video, I should have, but this would be 70,000. I'd do 70 
with a comma and three zeros, it would just be um, uh, one more zero than that. And then this would be 700,000. So this would be, uh, oh, let's do that right there. Let me get, uh, uh, so right here, this would be 700,000, 700,000. This guy right here would be uh, 70,000, 70,000. And then, you know, as I decrease, this guy right here would be 7, okay? And notice as you go to the right, the zeros decrease right here. So there's one less zero from here to here. There's one less zero, one less zero, one less zero, no zeros, okay? And when you go this way, the zeros increase. So times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10. And then when we go that way, it goes 1 tenth, 1 tenth, 1 tenth, okay? All right, so... Uh, let's use the steps below to complete the table. So uh, we write the numbers in here. I've written the numbers in here. So here's the number right here. So let's do this column right here. Let's do 10 times as much. So if we do 10 times as much, we're just going to add a zero to all these numbers. So this will become 200. This will become 9,000. And this will become 80,000. So there's uh, those numbers right there. Okay, and this says uh, use place value chart to write one-tenth of that number. So it's going to be one-tenth of these numbers, right? here. So one-tenth of these numbers is just to take off the zero. So this will be tw uh, 2, this will be 90, and this will be 800. That's, a, that's what's going in this column. So when we do one-tenth of that right there. Okay, does that make sense? I hope so, you guys. Hey, if this video helped, would you guys click like and take care.